What's up, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Chris Glides. I'm here at Harley Davidson in Washington, waiting for some fellas to get here. We're gonna take a ride out to Franklin's today and um, just kind of see where the bikers is hanging out, have a bite to eat, get out on the road. It's a perfect sunny day. As you can see, it's a few clouds in the sky and it's about 73, 74 degrees and it's nice. So I'm gonna just hang out inside, see what they have until everybody gets here. Hey man. So I'm in here uh, inside the dealership at HDL Washington and uh, this is one of my favorite color um, Pan Americas. It makes the 24s and like deep forest green. I'm not sure what they actually call the name but these are some of the new 24 colors over here on this side. And that's the new breakout. Some of the newer 24 glides. So I think if anybody's been in a dealership quite recently, most of y'all have seen all the new glides and stuff like that. But these new colors and the breakouts are nice with a deep forest green right there too. Road Glide 3 is available. And this is one of my bikes that I looked at several times coming in here. It's the Police Edition Road King. Something that you can take and pretty much modify and make your own for like a lower price than the regular standard um, Road King. But with the police package, I know they used to put everything in heavy duty and stuff like that, but you do get um, this light kit in the front. That's crazy. It's got everything on there already. Look at those. So yeah, but if I had it, it would be a lot of different things I would do to change and modify. If you check out the channel for riding and wrenching, he just got, well, a few months ago, he purchased the uh, police edition. Harley Davidson and um, he likes to do a lot of riding maneuvers and different um, biker challenges as it relates to um, the different maneuvers and obstacles that they do for competition and that's some of the things that he's been doing for a minute. He partners up a lot of times and goes to ride with um, Robert Simmons and um, his channel is be the boss of your motorcycle and on his channel you guys haven't watched it he does all things motorcycle safety slow speed maneuvers and all types of different things for bikers to learn and do so this bike right here is a fat boy and um, I like it it's one of the used bikes in here I like the fact that it has the all black disc wheels I'm not sure if they're called disc wheels but they have the all black wheels and I see this bike and I see a lot of potential for things that I could do to it the mileage on this thing is crazy low, but um, let's see, it's only got 1,022 miles. I don't know what year it is, let's see. Let's see, let's see, 2021. So I think the owner of this had um, several other bikes and um, came in, turned them all in and bought something different. And so sometimes that's what it's about, is just getting a new bike, a new ride. It's just like changing clothes. And some people are blessed enough to be able to do that. And it's a lot of fun. So, I mean, the community enjoys it. I know I love seeing new bikes out here when I'm out at events and things like that. Hopefully today, when the guys get here, we'll go ride and we'll see some people out on their bikes having fun. So, so these are all the street lives. It's, um, this uh, street light here is the Fast Johnny. And this one here has been here for a long time. It starts with the uh, 117, but they did something special to this. I think they put on, well, they did put on the Screaming Eagle 131 kit on this thing. And it has the Reinhardt exhaust, which everybody knows. Reinhardt has a lifetime warranty on their bikes. And this thing is all the way live. This is another, these two bikes here, another favorite of mine. They took this orange color and they put the black package on there. So you get all the, the blackout stuff with this black, um, with the blackout kit on this orange bike, it looks very nice. So I like the Empire Collection grips. I like the Empire Collection mirrors. And all it needs is some Empire Collection footboards, riffle boards, and you're on your way. They already put on some slash cut exhaust tips on the, on the rear with the exhaust they've already put on rear LEDs 
and um, I love it. It's the old style bike that I love a little bit better than the new style, so I love it. I like the black Prodigy wheels on it and everything about this bike, and I like the fact that I have a jacket to match it. <laughs> Same thing with the Road King here. It's already got the uh, seat, the aftermarket seat. It's already got the um, LEDs on the front. It's got the, I forgot the name of the mirrors for this, but there was a Harley Davidson mirrors. And um, I love the way the headlight comes. Only thing that um, has stopped me from getting a Road King is a lot of people just mentioned how much wind these come with and how it's kind of just unbearable to deal with. But I do like the bars on this thing. I do like the way it looks without a windshield, but um, bikes at this price, I don't really want to have to cruise around and not enjoy it. So it's got the Chromeworks exhaust already on there and everything already done to it. So, but I don't know. I'm just not into the to the windshield on these, but I could deal with it. I love it though. I just would like it in a different color. CVO. This CVO has been here forever and it's become a permanent fixture here. <laughs> so I guess people aren't feeling the color and um, it used to be dark platinum, but it's been made into like this Mako shark color. And um, I think this thing's been here since well, it has been here since the Harley Davidson homecoming last year. So, yep, I got music in the background that's gonna kill me on copyright, but this is just gonna be one of those videos that is for free for me. Hydra glides. These things are so nice looking, man, in person, but um, just not my, it's not for me. I would ride it though. I like the way it looks, but I couldn't have it as my primary bike. So I'm out here with Kirk. We're about to hit up uh, Franklin's and Laurel off of Route 1. Um, it's only two of us riding, uh, well, three of us riding. We're going to Franklin's and Highsville. And um, we're waiting for Elise to come out and uh, we're just gonna ride. So, where y'all at?
All right, so we finally made it to Franklin's. We got Marcelo, Kirk, Elise, myself. We all got our food and it is wonderful. We got my fried chicken, I got some apple juice. He's got a Coke, he got some water. So, but um, loving it. Food is amazing here. So they had food on the QR code and all that stuff. So we're just here about to eat and have fun. So we just finished up at Franklin's Restaurant, Brewery, and General Store. It was very nice. I highly recommend it. Ended up getting the um, the buttermilk fried chicken. It was really good. Came with mashed potatoes and I ordered a side of fries. So good time out here. And we're all gearing up, getting ready to go our separate ways back home and try and avoid and beat various areas of traffic. And uh, it was a good time. What'd y'all think about the food? What y'all think about the food? Oh, the food was good, man. Yeah. It was definitely worthwhile coming back. I know back. yours was good. Yeah. <laughs> so, would y'all recommend this place or no? Yeah. We do, and uh, the homes will visit Franklin's again. All right. Yep. There we go. So. We might have to come on, come in forward just to uh, experience this all right, guys, so I'm about to get home and uh, just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm just going to do a little bit of ride and I'm not going to record while I'm on the bike right now. It's a lot of traffic. And uh, thanks for watching this episode of Chris Glides. I know it's short, but sweet. And this is just how I spent my Saturday today. I'm about to go home, do a few things around the house and just chill. So see you guys next time. Peace. Wow.